morning guys and welcome back to my channel today we are vlogging for like the millionth time on the millionth day of quarantine <laughs> and it is what it is so today i'm trying to be more productive more like on schedule i'm gonna put on makeup and work out and do homework for my grad school classes and i don't know just get some stuff done as well as just like do things to keep me busy rather than just lying around all day. I'm trying to limit my screen time today. So let's do something about this. All right, so I'm going to drink my coffee. I just finished a much needed arm workout. <sighs> I'm so pale right now because I'm just not self tanning while it's quarantining because there's really no point. So might as well give my skin a break. Not that I think it really does anything to my skin, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drink my iced latte. I did a caramel espresso pod and a caramel creamer, so I'm having a whole caramel latte, and then I'm going to do my hair and makeup for the first time in a long time. Let's see if I even remember how. This is my finished hair just with a light wave in it. I'm going to flip it and spray it a little bit. I hate having crunchy hair, but lately my hair has just not been holding curls the same way it used to, unfortunately. So now that that's done, we're gonna move on to my face. Much needed. So for primer, I used the Benefit Professional, which I don't normally reach for, but it actually did a really nice job of blurring. I'm trying to do this thing where I like, I have all this makeup that I don't ever touch. So I'm trying to get better about that and use products that I don't always use because I'm just gonna waste them. They're gonna expire and I'm gonna have to throw them away. So I'm trying to get better about that, which is why I'm using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I don't know why. I used to not really like this foundation, but I think it was the primer I was using underneath because I was trying to do like a dewy primer but my skin just does not agree with that so I'm giving this another try I actually do like the applicator it makes it easy to apply all right I'm going in with shape tape for concealer I actually kind of like the way that this foundation blended up and it's pretty full coverage which is a must for me and my rosacea so, you know, obviously anyone is talking about this quarantine. There's nothing that you can, like, you can't get any other information about anything besides this. So I'm trying not to, like, talk about it too much just because, like, we know, we get it. We're all living it. <laughs> but the weirdest part about all this is that it's starting, at least for me, to feel like the new normal. Like, this just kind of feels like life now. This is my third week working from home and I don't know I'm just like okay yeah this is what we do now we could go on walks and do puzzles and occasionally go to the grocery store and uh that's life <laughs> which is weird but I don't know I'm getting kind of used to it not that I'm enjoying it very much but I don't know it just feels normal at this point And I'm going to powder with Laura Mercier, I ride or die. All right, so I just filled in my eyebrows, obviously, and I'm baking. Everyone should get an espresso and I live by that. I got this, I have the virtual one. I don't know, one of the big pods that does like the coffee and the espresso. My lattes, I hit different. This is, tastes like I paid $5 for it, but I made it at home and that's the tea. All right, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow now. I think I'm gonna do something a little bit fun. So the palette I'm using today has not seen the light of day in a very long time, and this is old and probably expired. Oh yeah, it says it's six months, it's it's done. But it still works, I mean it's eyeshadow, whatever. Who cares? But this is the Master Palette by Mario by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's this pretty, oh God, she's seen some, but it's very dirty and messy and horrible but it has some really nice shades in it so <laughs> i'm gonna go in with it first one i'm gonna use is isabel just in the crease and then i'm also gonna darken up with violetta so this isn't gonna be that fun but just a little something extra you know how it is ladies mm -hmm. just so bored it just 
like gives me some kind of, oop, I'm a little heavy on that. But it gives me some kind of satisfaction to have my makeup done, which I've given up for a while, but figured I'd get back on the train, back on the horse. Just sometimes I feel like I'm wasting it because like I'm just sitting in my house, but some days it makes me motivated. So, all right, so David was getting annoyed with me for taking too long, so she's done. But I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna go to Home Depot just cause our bed, I don't know, like the slate thing, the thing on the bottom, like the, whatever you call that, that keeps the bed up, like the little like wood pallet-y things. Like, you know what I'm talking about? No? Okay, well, they fell. And so we need to go get some nails and stuff to screw them back in and we're on lockdown starting tomorrow. So we gotta get that done today. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I have these little earrings that I got from Nasty Gal. They're just little gold hoops with um, teardrop pearls. Oh, sorry, I have eyeshadow all over me. I'm just wearing a sweater because this is just from Depot. I have my sunglasses on, some mom jeans. Sorry, ignore our puzzle mess. And my Burks, nothing exciting. <laughs> but um, it's the first time I'm leaving the house in a while, besides like to go and walk. So <laughs> that's exciting. Just got back from Home Depot and we picked up some herb plants. I got a basil, a mint, and a rosemary and just pots to repot them in. And I'm really excited to have fresh herbs in the house rather than having to keep buying them and just ending up throwing them out because they go bad when they're not in the pot. You know how it is. So I'm super excited to replant these. I really want to start a garden this spring and I am very anxious to do so. I want to get tomato plants. Definitely more herbs, and I'll figure out what else I can do while in an apartment, because that's a little bit tricky, but super excited. Filming through the window in hopes you can hear the little better from the construction, but so cute. All right, so currently I am sitting down to start doing some homework, which is a very unfortunate task. Fun and fresh. So I have to read chapter one of the green book and write a response and I don't know what I have to do for my other class yet, but we'll see. Just never enroll yourself in grad school, that's all I have to say about that. JK, education is important, but I hate doing schoolwork and I just want to be done with my masters. Mamma mia. And I'm going to go for a walk because it got so nice out, it was cloudy and a little bit raining before. Now it's blue sky, stunning. Doing homework is really killing my vibes. I got one of my assignments done and I still have a whole other one to do, which is really long, but I guess I can work on it tonight and tomorrow. It's just a pain in my butt, but I need a break because I'm going to lose my mind. And I'm going to make some red velvet cupcakes. Except I don't think I have red food dye and I didn't have any at the grocery store yesterday. I do have some food dye, I think I have pink. So we'll make pink velvet cupcakes. All right, I've made it to the kitchen. I preheated the oven till 350. I'm going to take my cupcake tins and put the little liners in. Step one is complete. So right now for my mess, I'm sifting together one and a third cup of cake flour, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. All right, in my second bowl, I have a cup of sugar, one full cup of sugar, and a stick of softened butter, and I'm gonna cream this all together for like five minutes. Now that that's all combined, I'm gonna take an egg and beat that in. Oops. I have a quarter cup of vegetable oil, a teaspoon of vanilla, give or take. Turns out I did have red food coloring, so I'm just gonna add some of that in there. I got half a teaspoon of white vinegar, and two thirds a cup of buttermilk. Beautiful. And then with that, I'm just gonna scoop in some of the dry ingredients, because I'm gonna break this up into Parts. So I'll do like yay much and then just once that's done add a little more so on and so forth. 
and that's how it looks all done I make sure you scrape down all the sides so that everything's combined now I'm going to ice cream scoop them into the holders oops that's a little much don't do that I'll have to scoop that out later <laughs> I'm gonna toss these in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. Many obscure shapes going on, but they smell really good. And this is me trying to put the fork in when they weren't ready. This is when they were. But they smell awesome and they look really good. So fingers crossed. I can't really see, but as for frosting, I have half a stick of unsalted butter, a whole bar of cream cheese softened, and a little bit of vanilla. And then I just put like probably like two cups of powdered sugar. I'm going to add more, but I don't want it to all explode. This is way more than I anticipated wanting in, but I'm going to mix this all up. I added like a cup more sugar in there, and now I'm going to put this in the fridge just for a little while so it can harden up a little bit, so when I pipe it, it will stay together. I just tried out one cupcake, and the frosting's kind of runny, just the way the recipe is, but, well not runny, but like it doesn't, it's not really firm for piping, but it came out okay. So I'm going to pipe the rest of them now. Well, they give me an A yet. For effort, they look okay. I'll give them a B. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video and subscribing to my channel. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. And I love you when I miss you and I love you. Subscribe. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Smash that like button.